Welcome back, Rankers. I was in Sydney last week. Hadn't driven in Sydney for probably 20 years. or Well, close to that. Anyway, usually you just get cabs. This time we thought, hey, let's, let's hire a car, right? Uh, pro tip from Melbourne drivers, do not take as many left-hand turns in Melbourne as you would, uh, sorry, do not take as many left-hand turns in Sydney as you would in Melbourne. Uh, yeah, oh, one-way street, oh, we'll all be killed. Anyway, uh, so apologies to those uh, people in Sydney who encountered my driving and road safety, serious thing. Uh, probably shouldn't have made that U-turn in front of the police station, but hey, we're, we do U-turns all the time here in Melbourne. And also apologies to all the people that we probably nearly knocked over when we were running for the plane. Um, if you see two mad guys last Friday night running through Sydney Domestic Terminal, um, trying to catch a plane. That was us. Hi. Um, we made it. Great trip. A lot of fun. And thank you to everybody who we uh, caught up with up there. There was this one woman who didn't like us at all, actually. She was, she was screaming at me through in the, in the driver's car. And seriously, I, was, I wasn't doing anything wrong at that point anyway. And she was screaming at us. <laughs> and we're at a red light. And she's honking a horn telling us to move. I, where else in the world does that happen? I've got no idea. Anyway, Sydney, a lot of fun. Uh, and we'll, we'll see you again soon as Uber becomes a client. Now, I wanted to talk to you today about a thing that Google released last year. Many of you know who have been watching this show for a while. Not only do we do the organic search, we also do uh, PPC or AdWords, as some of you may know it, as well as you know, your Facebook advertising. And last year, Google uh, basically upgraded a product, I guess you'd call it. They used to have a thing called product listing ads, and last year they upgraded it to a thing called Google Shopping. And it's, it's a different algorithm, and, and Courtney here looks after it for us. And we're implementing Google Shopping campaigns for pretty much everybody who's a retailer that we have on our books. And if you are a retailer and you're not doing Google Shopping ads, I'm telling you, you are missing out. You are leaving money on the table. I'll give you an example. This is a search done for the word camera, right? Not, well, we've got an ad there from Samsung who can probably just throw their money away and, and not care about it. You can see no one else there is advertising for that. But as soon as I put in an S, bang, I get more ads up here. I get Canon, I get uh, George's, and then I get all these things over here. These are shopping Google Shopping. So you've got Ted's cameras, you've got Bing Lee. I don't know why I've got <laughs> Bing Lee. That's interesting because that's, that's a Sydney brand. It's not a Melbourne brand. Um, and you've got all these, uh, you've got Kogan in there and a bunch of others. This is Google Shopping. Now, before I get into the details of this, I just want to show you something quickly. So this is a client we started a Google Shopping campaign on uh, back in January. Now, they've spent spent $2,800 in that period uh, for 7,800 clicks, uh, 8,500 sessions. Look at the bounce rate though. Terrible, right? 72%. Normally that's what you would say. However, we've got 139 transactions for a total revenue of $42,840. So we've spent $2,800 on Google Ads and we've got Nearly $43,000 back. That's good, in case you're wondering. In case you're working out, you're getting your calculator out right now, that's good. I don't care what you're selling. That is good. So, yeah, if you're a retailer, this is working much better than your traditional Google AdWords. Uh, the team out there are saying that basically our conversion rates are up 20% by doing... Google Shopping, which is extraordinary. And Courtney out there, is, he's going to write a blog post on it in um, a few weeks' time. Might even do a webinar on it, actually. It's probably worthy of doing a webinar on And to set it up, there's a couple of things that you need. If you're doing... Um, sorry, I'm just looking at my microphone, not my belly button. I just want to, I thought my microphone dropped off. Seriously. If you're doing uh, e-commerce on any of the major e-commerce systems, then you should be okay. Unless it's business catalyst. Hi to everybody at Adobe. Um, there's a couple that we have problems with. Yes, it 
it is quite challenging with business catalysts. So the way that this works is you set up what's called an XML feed, which is just a, a fancy way of saying, um, give me a fire hose with all your data in it about all the products that you have. That's what that is. And then that gets sent to what we call our Google Merchant Center. And from there, we can set up our ads in AdWords and our Google Shopping. It's not like your old uh, Google AdWords where you throw in a bunch of keywords and say, I want my ad to appear every time this keyword appears. It's not about that because what Google's doing is it's taking a data feed so it knows what your store or your catalog has in it. It doesn't need you to tell it, you know, what you want to appear for, you know, um, Canon PowerShot. It already knows that. So the... Uh, the, the way that it, 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 or the control, I guess, that you have on it is bid, uh, what you want to bid, and also um, you can put in negative keywords. You just can't put in positive keywords. So you might not want to have, you know, um, well, you, you can think of the negative keywords around those cameras. But it is quite powerful. So if you've been seeing a lot of this and thinking, how are they going up here? And I'll let you in on a little secret. There are some categories that have just been dominated by one supplier or one advertiser in a lot of these verticals. So, for instance, here we've got we've got Ted's one, two, three, and we've got Kogan one, two, three, and we've got Samsung throwing money away over here with nothing. Um, obviously, Canon and Samsung are doing it for branding. Georges probably need to talk to these guys because they are throwing money up against the wall because it's they're not here. Um, so quite powerful and massive returns for the right product. We're um, rolling it out to all the retailers. Magento, it's probably the easiest to set up. Now, I personally... Haven't done it. I'm just getting that, that information from the team out there. So when I say it's the easiest to set up, we've got developers setting it up, okay? So if you're a developer or if you have developers, they can probably do this for you. It's not something I recommend if you've got no skill in that area to go and do. So getting that data right is, is, is obviously really important. And Magento, it's a lot easier. WooCommerce and WordPress works quite well. Uh, Big Commerce does it okay. The only reservations that we currently have, or it's a little bit harder to set up, or a little bit trickier, it doesn't work as well, is Business Catalyst and your e-commerce systems. I, I, anyway, don't get me started on e big e-commerce systems that don't really do e-commerce that well. Uh, Shopify, I'm not sure. I can't think of one off the top of my head that we've set up, um, but if you're in the market for going e-commerce, I know Magento can be quite expensive um, for implementation and hosting and all those sorts of things. So if you're trying to toss up whether I should go WooCommerce, WordPress or, or Magento, and this might be a deciding factor, either or as far as the, the, the shopping feed goes. Hopefully that's helpful. If you've got any questions on that or if you'd like to see a webinar on something or if there's anything else that you'd like to hear us talk about, and I know Ben... Uh, has and a few of others have sent suggestions through whose names escape me at the moment. Thank you for all those suggestions and apologies for not getting back to you promptly, but um, uh, just rest assured, I am seeing it and so thanks very much for all the suggestions. If you've got ideas for a webinar that you'd like to see and also just show stuff or if you've got a site you'd like us to review, we'll do that as well. And that's it for this week. We'll see you next week. Thanks very much. Bye.